Police have not let up on the investigation into a particularly violent home invasion, which occurred in a relatively remote area of Boral Boom. As a result, searches were conducted on four houses in Belize City, which resulted in three more arrests and the discovery of other items stolen from the home. As a result of those searches, we, we have charged Jerry Buller, 20 years, date of birth, but I'm not going to go into his date of birth, Jerry Buller, uh, 20 years for abetment to commit aggravated burglary. We've also charged Mark Pitts, 18 years for handling stolen goods. And we've also charged Paul Jex for handling stolen goods. Now, yesterday late, we had some other developments where we recover <coughs> some more stolen items from that, that were stolen from the premises and other charges will be laid on some other individuals sometime during the day today. Nevertheless, we have recovered an assortment of liquor. We recovered two rings that were identified by the councillor wife, a necklace, Perhaps the most significant recovery was that of a DVR database containing surveillance footage from that night. It is in good shape. It is assisting us tremendously. Uh, it has the, it have the footage of the burglary when it was transpired. As a matter of fact, the, the burglars thought that they stole, or, or they thought that they disconnected the DVR and realized it was not the DVR they had in their possession and then they went and they disconnected the DVR and they stole it. Nevertheless, we recovered it. It is in good shape. Uh, we have already taken the evidence off it. We retrieved the footage of it. The brutal nature of the rape, assault and burglary, as well as the high profile of the case, has resulted in the department pulling out all the stops. More arrests are expected very soon based on information which keeps coming into police as well as continued collaboration between various units. The investigation is really fluid. Uh, <coughs> we've been getting tremendous leads from uh, the public as well as the brilliant work of our investigators and our police officers who have been coordinating and working excellent with each other and we've been getting support from the gang suppression unit as well as the uh, mobile interdiction team and the anti-drug unit as well as the K-9. Crimes investigation. As a matter of fact, I was surprised when the K-9 hit on a bag which did not contain firearm nor contain drug but contain uh, the jewelry that were recovered. So uh, that was excellent work by the K-9. Police have also seized a black Acura, which was used in the commission of the violent crime. Six firearms stolen by the perpetrators have not been recovered, but the police are confident it is only a matter of time before they are taken off the streets. Mike Rodon for News 5.